Hello friends, welcome to NCS Tutor. In this tutorial, we are going to analyze a double y vein pipe. It is a double y vein pipe. Air is entering from the end of one y vein and exiting from another end. We are going to see how the air is flowing in this two y vein pipe. We are going to create this geometry in ANSYS design modeler. So drag the fluid flow fluid into project schematic space. Right click on the geometry and select new design modeler geometry. Now select the XY plane. Go to sketching. Select the polyline tool and draw a polyline like this. One vertical line and one inclined line. And right click and select open end. Now go to dimensions and put the general dimensions of this vertical line and inclined line and this angle between them. Select the angle dimension and put the angle. Make the angle as 130. The vertical line as 15 meter and the inclined line also 15 meter. Now we are going to apply a fillet at this corner of this, at the uh, joint of these two lines, at the corner point. For this, go to modify toolbar, select the fillet option, enter the radius of this fillet as 3 meter, select the first and second line, then click on generate. The fillet has been generated at this corner. Now we are going to make this sketch show always so that it would be visible during the sweep operation. Now we are going to select this ZX plane and draw a sweep profile that is a circle, that is a circular pipe. Now put this dimension and click on generate. Now we are going to sweep this circle through this sketching geometry. Select this sketch, click on apply. In the operation, select add frozen, then click on generate. Now our Y band, half of this Y band pipe is completed. Now we are going to mirror this one to create the another half. For this go to mirror tool. Select the preserved tool bodies option as yes. Select the mirror plane as the YZ plane. Select the body. Click on apply. And click on generate. Now one of this Y band pipe is generated. Now we are going to create another pipe pen like this. Now we are going to create, do a boolean operation to join these two halves of this pipe using the unit of operation. Now it is a single solid body. Now go to create, select body transformation and select translate option. Select this pipe body and select the direction as the x axis and enter the distance as 15 meter. So that the same y band will be replicated at 15 meter. Select the preserved tool body as yes. Here one copy of this pipe has been created. Now we are going to increase this pipe diameter as 1 meter so that it would be properly visible. Now we are going to create the part which would be join this Y band. For this we are going to insert a new plane. 
select type as point and normal select this point as base point and this edge as the normal now click on apply now right click on this plane again now going to transform this about rotate about y put the value as 90 degree then click on generate now this we can draw on this sketch plane now right click and select look normal now going to sketching select the polyline tool and draw a line like this right click and select open end now go to dimensions put this dimension all these dimensions now go to modify and select fillet option enter the same 3 meter fillet for these two lines and also for this corner put this value as 5 meter and this distance as 15 meter then click on generate now we are going to sweep the sweep the face of this band pipe y band pipe through this curve so select sweep tool in the profile select this face of this pipe click on apply select this sketch was sketch as the path then click on generate now this pipe band has been generated now we are going to mirror this band on this other half also for this go to create menu select body transformation select mirror tool select this yz plane as this mirror plane and this body new body clearly created body as this body to mirror then click on generate now this other app also connected now we are going to now do the boolean operation to joint all these three parts so select the boolean tool and select all these parts and click on apply then click on generate now our pipe geometry y band pipe geometry is complete it is now a single part now we can proceed for meshing to do the meshing of this pipe band double y band pipe For simplicity, we are going to do the default mesh for this. So, right click on this and select generate mesh. Now, we are going to put the named selections to the inlet and outlet boundary. I am selecting this face. select the face selection tool right click and select create named selections and name it as inlet click on ok similarly go to the another end select this one right click and name it as outlet click on ok now select the full volume and name it as fluid domain it is not required but if there are more than two solid bodies we need to define each cell zone so that we could assign the material properly 
right click on this mesh and select update mesh mesh is now updated with linked with the fluent solver now close this meshing and proceed for fluent solver setup click on edit Select the double precision model and click on start. Now go to models. Select the viscous laminar flow model for simplicity. Then click on OK. The materials, the default is air are also in cell zone condition, the default air is the fluid material. Now go to inlet, click on edit. Now we are going to put this inlet velocity of this air as 0.5 meter per second. Then click on apply, then close. Give the pressure outlet default outlet boundary condition and all as valve. Now go to solution methods, keep the coupled scheme, select all the second order for pressure and momentum. Now go to monitor, select residuals and decrease the residuals up to 10 to the power minus 6 for a better accuracy of this result. Now change all these residuals. Criteria value. Now go to initialization. Do the hybrid initialization. Now go to run calculation page. Enter the number of iterations as 500. Then click on calculate. The iteration process would take some time. If it would be converged, then it will be so calculation complete message. Otherwise, it would last up to 500. Iterations. Calculation is complete now. Now close this plane and proceed for CFD post processing result analysis. I insert a streamline, new streamline. Streamline would show us the paths of this flow. Select it to start from inlet and number of points as 100. Now let's see. This is the flow path of this air through this Y band flow profile. Now we are going to see this through animation. Decrease this speed of this animation and click on the play button. This is the result of this animation. Here you can see the movement of this AR particles through this Y band channel. Now insert a new plane to see this contour image. Fill the XY plane and put the Z value as 0 0.1 meter. Now insert a contour. Select the plane 1 as the location and variable as this velocity. And range is the local range. Put number of controls as 100. And click on apply. 
this is the velocity contour at the inlet section y when similarly create another plane for the second y when which is at 15 meter from this origin point then click on apply this is the second plane now select the same contour and select this plane 1 and plane 2 then click on apply this is the contour of the second plane you can save this image of this contour with this let's conclude this demonstration hope you have liked this video subscribe to our channel if you are new comment below if you have any doubt or any suggestions thank you keep learning and keep exploring